it's um, something that all the kids aspire to. They can't wait to be 16 so they can go to the prom. And a lot of the younger kids that aren't attending the prom are coming tonight to watch the other kids go to the prom. So it's pretty exciting. This is the 12th year. It's definitely an established tradition. We've got to first of all decide how many kids, what kids are attending. And then we've got to decide on our fundraisers so we raise enough money to cover the cost of all the tuxedos and the alterations for the dresses that have been donated. We have to secure limousine service. We get food donated from all over the community to serve the kids. So, and we also have to get, to get their parents' consent. So it takes a little while. It takes a good six months to pull it off. It's for trade wind students, but we, every year we get calls um, with guests, students that have not been able to attend in their own districts, so we invite them in. So tonight we have one guest here from another school district that's coming, but we've never said no. We've got about 72, 73 students, but it takes uh, probably about anywhere from 50 to 75 staff to help pull it off, as well as our community development department. Every single staff person that's involved um, absolutely loves doing it for the kids and works their hardest and works, they go above and beyond working crazy hours to pull this off. People don't get paid to do the prom, but they work just as hard. You would never know they weren't getting paid. So it's really the staff that we work with in the community that also provides us with a lot of the stuff that we wouldn't have normally. Everything's pretty much donated. We do a big spaghetti dinner fundraiser to raise money for it and the rest, uh, the things, everything's donated from people in the community. We've got a very generous community. All families are invited to act either, either as chaperone or just to, to enjoy the event. So we've got probably 60% of all the kids have family members that will be here tonight with us. For some reason, um, a lot of the families of children with disabilities don't foresee their children attending an event such as this. And, I'm, and, and I feel bad that they don't, but I'm really happy that we could provide them with that experience. 